A friend of mine asked me the other day how much you have to spend to play Star Citizen. And the way he asked me sounds like you have to spend a lot of money in order to play Star Citizen. But that is not true. So in this video, I am going to show my friend as well as other new players who wants to play Star Citizen but want to play on a budget. Or some other players who want to follow the development of Star Citizen actively but don't want to spend a lot of money. They want to spend the minimum amount of money. Because the development of this game is a crowdfunding system by pledging. So if you go to Pledge Store and click Game Package and look at that. All you need is this package Mustang Alpha Starter Pack 40 bucks 40 50 US dollars this is all that you need to start to play Star Citizen to enjoy the full scale of Star Citizen of course with certain limitations for example the PTU access and some really exclusive really nice skins that you have to purchase and some subscriber flares but in terms of the game itself as long as you have this package, the entire game is available to you and every single ship, flyable ship, eventually will be purchasable in-game. That's it. 40 bucks is all you need if you want to play Star Citizen on a budget. Also, the 40 bucks is because right now is IAE, so there is a sale. Regular price is $45. It doesn't matter what ship in the starter pack. What matters is you can access the game, you can start grinding, start to build your own fleet, and you can purchase every single flyable ship in-game except the newly released ones, which will take some time for it to become available in-game. For example, the Sulin. But you don't have this ship, no problem. Star Citizen has a great community. If you go to the server, you ask people, see if you can borrow some ships to check it out. People in the server, most of them will be very happy to lend their ship to you to test them out. So that's another thing about Star Citizen, the community. You don't just play the game, you engage in the community. And of course, there are more expensive packages. Look at that, they're $60, $65. You can go to $125, the Cutlass Black. The price has recently raised. I think before it was $100. Bucks. And the Constellation Andromeda starter package is $275. And then you have the UE Exploration Package, $1,100. And you have a Mega Pack for the Exploration, $1,700. And you can go all the way to what? $64,000. This will include an Idris. And Praetorian Pack, this will inclu include A90 Jump. Also, I think an Idris as well. To the ultimate package, Legatus 2952. This is from last year's IAE. It's 42,000 US dollars. And later on, Legatus 2953. This year's package is going to come out. I think the price is going to be around 45,000 US dollars. This package will give you every single ship in game and also a concept ship that's released and also every single skin and subscriber flares and everything. That's why a lot of people who don't know about Star Citizen call Star Citizen a scam. Thinking you have to spend so much money, thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars, in order to start a game. They have no idea what they're talking about. Because all you need is 40 bucks. That's it. To enjoy the full scale of Star Citizen. And of course, there is only one little ship in this starter pack, the Mustang Alpha. But do not look down on this Mustang Alpha. It is actually a great starter ship. I wouldn't say it's the greatest, the best, but it is a great ship. It is more than enough for you to start a wonderful Star Citizen career. So today I am going to be a new player like you. I just established a new account. I am going to purchase this package and then we will go in game and take a look, see what you can do with this starter pack game package and of course i already asked permission from my wife that i can actually spend a little bit more on star citizen ships but she doesn't know all the other ships that i bought for my other accounts please don't tell her all right master alpha starter pack 40 dollars and 50 cents all right check out success i purchased and then just follow this start the download if you don't have it now if you go to your account and click my hanger uh, my hand is empty. 
Huh. Okay. Give me a second. It says my hangar is empty, even though I purchased the ship. But um, when I try to purchase again, it says this item is limited to a single instance and you already hold one, but I do not have. This is the first time that the pledge store has a little bug. Huh. Yeah, my hangar is empty. I think I just paid for it. Maybe there's something wrong with the card I entered. Okay, something wrong with the website. I cannot buy this ship. So to continue this video, I have to buy this package, Mustang Alpha Starter Pack, which is five bucks more. And basically these are the same thing. This is IAE Starter Pack, it's just $5 off. That's it. I just save uh, some coffee for this five extra bucks. So I'm getting this one and let's continue this video. My hangar, there we go. Now I got it. I also got uh, three bucks, three extra bucks, got an uh, extra paint for the ship. So now I have a Mustang Alpha starter pack. I am all set to play this game. Okay, verify, authenticate. Now all you need to do is to log in. That's it. So just uh, choose your character. Okay, accepting character and you can play the tutorial but you don't have to. This tutorial is at New Babbage. My recommendation for new players is to choose Area 18 or Lorville. Area 18 is easy to navigate around and you have weapon stores and everything. So let's choose Area 18. I mean, just personal recommendations for new players. Let's go. Confirm. There we go. We have arrived in the Stanton system, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go straight to your ships. This is not a tutorial for new players. So I'm not going to go into detail where to find anything, this and that. There are plenty of other tutorials you can find. So let's just go straight to see the ship. And you can see we have a weapon store and weapon and suits in this store. Once you get out of your hat, that's how easy it is in Area 18. But let's see your how much money we have. We have 25,000 AUEC. That's it to begin with. But that's more than enough. Okay, this is the Riker Memorial Spaceport. Getting the train. I haven't been here for a while. Okay, it's our stop. Okay, so let's get our ship over here. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Wait, tree cutter? What? I have an extra ship. Sometimes I think uh, CIG will give you some extra ship to to try out, but uh, I I didn't buy a tree cutter. It was not not in my hangar. So, but that's good. Drake Cutty is also another great starter ship. I plan to make a video for that, but that's not the topic for now. So, Master Alpha, this is our ship. Starter Light Freight. Deliver. Let's put the paint on it. There we go. So, let's take a look at the weapon for the ship. You can actually put two more. I think those are size one weapons here. So, basically, we have two size one and two size two weapons. For the ship. So this gives you some kind of a combat ability. If you are a skilled fighter, this can be one of the deadliest combat ship. At least PvE is concerned. But the ship is very fragile. So if you take too much hit, you're gonna die. But it's a good starter ship to practice combat. You can practice this in Arena Commander or you can practice in PU to fight those NPC bounties. If you want to start your career as a bounty hunter, you can use the ship as well just to learn how to fight. Here is your starter ship, Mustang Alpha. It's like some kind of bird. And the good thing about the ship, we just talked about you can use ship to start your bounty hunting career. Here we have a cargo, a very beautiful cargo area. Look at this. You open this. Ooh. How nice is this? You can use this ship 
to do box missions, you can start your package delivery career with this. You can actually put a lot of boxes. I do not recommend to use this ship for trading or cargo, only box deliveries. This little area is a plus for the ship. I think this was only added a few patches ago. With this, you can also start your mercenary career. So you basically just buy some weapons, go to bunker, and start looting. You can put the dead bodies here, or put uh, gears and weapons in here. As long as it's not glitched, you can carry them to station. But be aware, do not carry those criminals to station. You might get a crime stat for harboring criminals. If you get inside here and you hit I, you can see you have an external storage of 6,000k micro ICU. You can put a lot of stuff in here. I don't have anything. So, but when, when you go to do looting, bunker looting, you can put so much stuff just in the external storage alone. Very nice. Under here, the cockpit area, you can also click open storage option. And over here, you have external storage of 250K micro ICU. So two places you can store stuff, especially your suits and weapons. But this only has 250K compared with the cargo area, you have 6,000. So pretty good ship. And this is the end for this video. It's just a very simple introduction for this uh, cheapest starter pack. And in the following videos, I am going to start with this basic cheapest starter ship to start my new Star Citizen career. And let's see how it will take us. Leave in the comments below which career you want me to start. I can do combat, I can do cargo, I can do mercenary. Which one do you want me to start? Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one of this series.